Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Glock Armorer Glock Profession class. Um, and uh, today I wanted to do the lesson on the Glock Generation 4 parts. Um, this is your Glock Generation 4 pistols and how the parts are. So let's get started. If we see here on Glock Generation 4 parts, uh, this is an exploded view of a Glock. And um, it's pretty, it's almost identical to the Glock three uh, generation three other than the Glock 42 and 43 those are quite different we're going to do a separate video or a presentation on them as we see uh, everything's pretty self-explanatory your slide here is number one your barrel is number two recoil spring guide rod you can see that's different between the three and the four that's the main difference right there uh, they made an enhanced one uh, most of this is uh, requested by police and military because I think they had uh, a failure once or they were using some kind of ammunition something didn't work or something broke so they went ahead and uh, redesigned the uh, recoil spring because they you know, wouldn't do it for the probably civilians uh, you know they did it for uh, uh, other entities but three and four is your recoil rod has a spring in the assembly of course down here is they call it a firing pin they don't call it a striker you notice so it's a firing pin the spacer that goes uh, when it goes into the slide there's a little spacer there that's uh, this slides over the uh, firing pin a spacer sleeve uh, fire firing pin spring um, right here seven spring cups to go on the end to hold them in firing pin safety of course that goes into the slide and that's the one where some companies you'll buy the titanium ones and the spring is weak and this is all rounded out so don't forget that prevents your uh, firing pin from firing so you, you want to be careful you wouldn't want to mess with that you don't want to change the tension on the spring at all you don't want to mess with it I wouldn't firing pin safety spring that's the spring we're talking about uh, you have an extractor here extractor to pressure, seat to pressure, plunger, hull assembly 13, 14, you know, 12, 13, and 14. Uh, then you get your uh, slide cover plate, your sights are 16, 16A. Of course, here's down, go down here on the bottom is your frame. Um, and uh, this is show your whole frame over here. See it? Okay. And it's all polymer. So it's all made of polygon. Uh, there's a magazine um, catch, which is right over here, 19. Uh, you're going to do your slide lock spring, which is right there. Okay, that's number 20. It's right here is your slide lock spring. That's number 20. 21 is your slide lock. Okay, that's right here. This is where you lock your slide and it locks this slide here onto the frame okay this also there's a pay, to pay particular attention when you're putting this in the uh area in the back here with a slot in it is up okay facing uh the rear of the gun if you don't you will cause a problem so you want to make sure you put that in the right way uh 22 is your locking block uh your trigger trigger housing mechanism housing here uh, it's 23. This is a piece of plastic. It houses uh, your housing ejector, and this is where your connector and your uh, trigger bar and trigger bar spring all connect as an assembly in there. It comes apart. Connector is 24. Like I say, that goes into the trigger housing. Uh, 25 is your trigger spring right here. That goes through the trigger bar. Okay, kind of pulls it back. It gives it that pull. People change those too, but I wouldn't recommend that either. Trigger bar, uh, trigger with trigger bar. That's this whole assembly here. Here's the trigger 26, and here's the whole. It's the whole assembly. It's all one piece. Uh, however, you can remove the trigger without hurting the trigger without hurting the trigger bar. You can take that apart, and I have. You have your slide stop, which is 27 right here. You have um, your uh, trigger pin, which is 28. That's going to, of course, that holds into your trigger. 28 right here. You have 29 trigger pin housing. Okay. Uh, then you have, and let me find that for you here, because I just said it right here. Trigger pin housing. This here. 29A. 
is um, the other the other one for that goes into the right to the bottom too. So they don't have it actually listed as twenty nine twenty nine A, but um, that is that is the part, and it, it goes right into there. You can just follow how these uh, lines go, how they go through. You can see that there. 30, of course, is the follower, and that is right up here for your magazine. Uh, that pushes the bullets, uh, allows it uh, an area for the bullet to rust when it's getting pushed up by the spring. Okay, 31 is your spring. Um, 32 is your magazine floor plate right here that holds everything together. Uh, your magazine insert is 32A. 33. Okay, would be your magazine tube. This is the housing that holds uh, the whole, all the bullets and everything. And you want to make sure it's straight. If it ever gets bent or something, you got to throw it away. And 34 is uh, the locking, locking block pin. And it kind of put this kind of out of out of sequence here. They throw these numbers everywhere over. So you got to, for me, I got to jump around and look for them all. But locking block pen is actually right up in here if you're looking at 34. I don't really like this diagram too much. But here's your locking block. So right there's a locking block pen. Okay. And you put this in and this pen goes through it. I don't know why uh, in this diagram they have a 29 and a 29A. So I guess those are the trigger housing pen. There is two. There's uh but I don't know why they have that way. Trigger, trigger, how's it presented? This also is the uh, uh, ambidextrous. It has the Gen 4, so it probably that extra pin there. But this is pretty much all the parts uh, in Exploded View. You can go through and look at this, and it'll give you kind of a, you know, a idea of what everything looks like. It's just like if you go in here, see, 16, they, they have 16 for sights, but there's a 16A for the front sight and there's a 16B for the screw that goes into the front sight so they don't uh, they kind of encapsulate them together but that is the, the generation for tuning into uh, my uh, short presentation and have a great day and I hope you liked it